Hi, I'm Joe Dante. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Our trailer for today is uh, an undeservedly obscure British science fiction picture uh, titled These Are the Damned, uh, directed by expatriate American filmmaker Joseph Losey, who was blacklisted in the 50s and moved to Europe, uh, mostly England, uh, to do a series of increasingly uh, well-reviewed uh, movies that uh, really put him on the top in the mid-60s, uh, pictures like The Servant and Accident. Uh, that made him into one of the world's leading filmmakers. Our, our, our film is from a slightly earlier period and is really unjustly neglected. Black leather, black leather, smash, smash. I think uh, it's apparent from this trailer that uh, this was a movie that nobody really knew how to sell and uh, there's a reason for that, which is that it's a very unusual movie. Uh, in uh, 1961, Hammer Films was uh, coming off a lot of success with uh, their horror and, and uh, science fiction films that they, uh, they'd been doing for low budgets, and um, uh, the gothic horrors, of course. And, but they, there was always a subset that, of the company that produced more contemporary pictures, uh, like Hell is a City and uh, some other films that were uh, you know, more attuned with the times. Uh, this particular picture is a, a, basically a science fiction film that's concerned with the future. Uh, it has a very unusual plot structure in that it introduces a series of characters who uh, basically all uh, end up together in the same place at the end of the picture. And uh, the story is a little hard to synopsize, but it has to do with a, an experiment, a government top secret experiment uh, involving radioactive children that are being produced for the day when, the inevitable day, uh, when the bomb goes off. Uh, unfortunately, this led the distributor in America, Columbia, to sell the picture as if it was a Children of the Damned type picture. And uh, the, tra the posters for this picture, which are, are <laughs> pictures of children with icicles hanging off their nose, it's probably one of the worst posters in the history of science fiction. Um, the film itself, which uh, was made very hurriedly, apparently, um, was kept on a shelf uh, for a number of years. It was shot in 61. It wasn't released in Britain until 63. And it wasn't released in America until 1965 on the bottom half of a double bill with Genghis Khan, where I saw it uh, at, on 42nd Street. Uh, it's a... I've never shown this picture to anybody who didn't think it was a knockout. And the problem, of course, is that it's become extremely obscure. It's never been, to my knowledge, released on home video. Uh, there are bootleg tapes around of it, but it's a CinemaScope movie and the tapes are pan and scan. Um, but occasionally it's revived uh, at the Cinematheque in, in L.A. or in New York. And the, the climax of the picture, which involves these children finally getting out and seeing the sun, who've never who've been brought up in complete darkness, uh, never seems to fail to move people. And uh, although there are, there are things wrong with the picture, it, it's a generally well-acted movie, and uh, although Losey wasn't uh, particularly fond of it, uh, because I felt he, I think he felt that it had been compromised in too many places. Uh, it really is, I think, one of the key films of the 1960s, and it's definitely worth a, uh, a look, if you can find it.